With voice prototyping in Adobe XD, you can easily integrate both voice commands and speech playback directly in your prototype designs. Now this is something we've not seen before, so let me show you how the feature works in action. I'm here within Adobe XD, and I have a number of artboards here on the design canvas. The intent is to simulate what it would be like to interact with an Amazon Alexa show device. If I zoom in here a little bit tighter, you can see I've got a sequence of screens that take the user through the process of first confirming a calendar appointment, and then using a voice command, I want to bring up recipes. From there, I want to actually search for a particular recipe I have in mind. With the artboards all in place, I'm now ready to integrate some voice features as I wire these artboards together. I'll switch over to the prototype mode, and I'm going to come to that first set of artboards, and I'll zoom in a bit tighter so it's easier to see. Now the idea here is that I'm simulating the show device, and I'd like a viewer to be able to say a command, basically, Alexa, what's on my calendar? When that command is spoken, I want the prototype to automatically transition to the second artboard and then speak the words dinner with Judy at 6.30 p.m. To make this happen, I'm gonna come in and select my first artboard, and I'm gonna drag a wire the way I ordinarily would. In the animation options here, under the trigger, instead of tap, I'm going to select voice, and then I'm going to enter the command that I want the user to speak. In this case, it'll be Alexa, what's on my calendar? At that point, I want the action to be a transition, and I want it to land on the second artboard with a dissolve. And I can control all of this based on the experience I'm trying to create. On the second artboard, I want to both simulate the results from the command on the previous artboard, as well as give guidance to the viewer around the next possible action. For that, I'm going to do something that's pretty new to XD. When I click on this artboard, you'll see I have a wire here on the right. I'm going to click and release on that wire rather than drag it to another artboard. This allows me to come in and define my behavior. For the trigger, I want it to be a time-based trigger, so I want it to occur pretty much right away, so I'm not going to apply a delay here. But under action, I want to change this to a speech playback. And this is where I want Alexa to actually respond to the user. So with speech playback selected, I'll go ahead and type that response. With that all set, I'll go ahead and click off on the side. And let's take a look now at the interactions that I've defined so far. To do that, I'll come and make sure I've selected the first artboard in the sequence. And I'll click on the desktop preview icon. And I can now start interacting with my prototype. There's a few things you'll want to keep in mind when you're working with voice-activated devices. When I'm either in the desktop player or viewing my prototype in a web browser, I need to open up the microphone on my computer by holding down the spacebar. Alexa, what's on my calendar? You have dinner with Judy at 6.30 p.m. tonight. Perfect. What we just saw is that, based on my command, XD responded by transitioning to that other artboard and speaking the words that I typed in as speech playback. Well, now that you have a sense of how this is all constructed, let me tie it together with a little bit of auto animation and time transitions for a full solution. I'll take it from the top. Alexa, what's on my calendar? You have dinner with Judy today at 6.30 p.m. Alexa, open my recipes. Welcome to my recipes. Looking for something specific? Search by name or ingredient. What would you like? So that was a time transition to this next artboard. It also had some auto animation that animated the words. Alexa, search for chocolate cake. I found seven recipes for chocolate cake. Try saying show number two or scroll right to see more. Again, we've got some nice auto animation with time transitions. Alexa, scroll right. Alexa, show number five. Birthday cake is a decadent chocolate cake that serves up to 10 people. Say walk through instructions or say go back. Obviously, this is an incredible amount of fun. I encourage you to give this new feature a try.